boys and girls. My name is Pastor Cassandra and I want to do a scripture lesson with you today. Today our scripture lesson is going to be found in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and I'm going to read that for you. It says, do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Today, boys and girls, I want you to look at what I have here. And this jar, this vase, is going to represent our minds. And this chocolate milk right here is going to represent the bad things that we can think. The things of this world that we think. So those things could be cheating on a test lying to our parents, if we're mad at a friend and we think of a bad name to call them, those are those thoughts right there. And sometimes they get in our head. They do. But by um, looking at our scripture lesson today, we can tell that God wants us to be, our minds to be renewed. He doesn't want us to stay stuck and have these negative thoughts in our head. And negative thoughts are thoughts that are displeasing to God. So how do we change this? How do we fill our minds up with things that are pleasing to God and get rid of this junk, the things that are displeasing to God? Well, Let's stare at it for a minute and see if we can change it, okay? So on the count of three, I want you to stare as hard as you can at this cup. One, two, three. Is anything happening yet? Let me look at it from the side. Are you staring really hard? I need your help. Stare really, really hard. Well, let me look at it on this side. Nothing's changing. So that tells me that I can't change my mind and the thoughts that go in it on my own. I probably need some help. So how do we do that? Well, this picture here of water is going to represent God's Word, the Bible. And so in our scripture verse, it tells us, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Well, Pastor Cassandra, how do we renew our mind? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm going to tell you. When we study God's Word and we read His Word and we fill our minds with His Word, it overpowers the bad. We start pouring God's Word into our minds and it starts getting that yucky stuff out of there. All the things of this world that the devil wants us to think about, it starts making it go away and it becomes less and less and less. Do you see that? Do you see what's happening? Just as the water is diluting the chocolate milk and making it go lighter and it's cleansing it, so does the word with our hearts and our minds. So as we study and as we read the word of God, we say, Lord, cleanse me, cleanse my heart, Cleanse my mind so that I can focus on you and pleasing you and the will that you have for me. Because we know from our scripture verse, it says, God's will is good, pleasing, and perfect. So let's pour a little bit more of God's word in our minds. Let's pour it, pour it, pour it. And see what I've done that. Our cup has become a lot clearer than what we started out with. And over time, as we grow up and we're hanging around our friends, sometimes that negative thinking might get stuck back in there. But that's why it's so important, boys and girls, that we stay in our word and we stay close to Jesus so he can continue to renew our minds with his word. And when that yucky stuff gets in there, God will keep cleaning it out. So now that you kind of have a better understanding of our scripture verse, I want everybody to stand up. All the boys and all the girls, stand to your feet. All right. So on the count of three, I want you to say the memory or the scripture verse with me. One, two, three. 
do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. God's will is pleasing, good, perfect will. All right, everybody have a seat. Have a seat. Now I want all the girls to stand up. Come on, girls. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, girls. Let's get up. All right. So I want all the girls to say it with Pastor Cassandra on the count of three. One, two, three. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12 and 2. Good job, girls. All right, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. I need all my boys to stand up. That's right, it's the boys' turn. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Get on your feet, get on your feet. All right, boys, on the count of three, you're going to say the scripture verse with Pastor Cassandra. One, two, three. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12 and 2. Good job, boys and girls. I'm so glad I could spend just a minute with you and talk about renewing our minds. And let's remember, when our mind gets filled up with all that junk that's displeasing to God, we can always pour God's Word into our minds and into our life, and He will cleanse our hearts, and He will cleanse our minds.